Hello, welcome back. We've got another tutorial today. We're going to be looking at 3D sketching, in particular how to do the oven rack frame. Uh, this tutorial does come with SolidWorks. It's built in. However, I think just going over it and seeing how uh, it's created will give you a better understanding of how to use 3D sketches, especially if you're new to it. It will also allow you to dimension and to also mirror features. So we're going to dive straight in and get cracking with it. So what we need to do is we need to use a 3D sketch to create the, uh, the oven rack frame. So if you haven't already, click on new and create a new part. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on sketch and we're going to click on 3D sketch. And then as soon as that is activated, we're going to click on line. And when the line is activated, we need to make sure that the XY, um, XY pointer is shown. And when we go from that, we're going to go from the origin and we're going to go 135 mil out like so. And when that's done, click OK. Uh, so where we've got that there, we need to make sure that the end point here is exactly at the origin at zero zero zero, and we can we can uh, check that basically within the uh, the feature manager. Uh, sorry, the command manager here. So that is correct. If it's not, then what you can do is you can click on that point, click on the origin, and click fix. Now what we need to do is basically build this in because we're going to be mirroring it um, that is why it is only 135 mil so what we need to do now is we need to sketch the rest of the lines so we're going to select line again and then we're going to oh, click from the end point here and drag it down make sure that XY is shown again and it's going to be 15 mil and we're going to go across make sure it's XY again and it's 15 mil again so you click OK or right click select to, uh, to exit the sketching and what we need to do is we need to do a line going towards the back of the model so we'll click line click on this point now when you drag it out you can see that it's in the same plane so what we need to do is we need to press tab to cycle through the uh, the sketch planes and you need to make sure that the YZ is selected as soon as it is make sure that the uh, along Z um, uh, constraint is highlighted as you can see just by the pointer and we need to do this at 240 mil as soon as that's done we can press tab twice and that will get us back to the XY and what we need to do again is um, uh, which way is that going to be that's going to be up again sorry so we'll select up 15 mil and then no it's not sorry we need to delete that so click ok it's back so clicking on that line we'll go back here and we'll go back 15 mil making sure it's uh, tagging the x and then we'll click up on the y and then we'll go back to make it 135 so there we go so exit this and we've got a fully constrained sketch here and we've already got the uh the kind of uh parameter or the framework for this oven rack so what we're going to do is we're going to go on sketch fillet we're going to add some fillets so click oh uh, click on the sketch fillet here increase this up to five mil and all we need to do is select the uh the inner curve here so you can select that point and the point at the back there and it will click OK. So now we've got some nice curves. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, we're going to get a sweep along the uh, along this frame. So we are going to exit the sketch and we're going to select the right plane. Uh, so we're going to click on the sketch there and then we're going to select circle and then draw this circle. I'm going to draw that at five mil. Now what we need to do is go on features, swept, and then you're going to use the uh, sketch profile here. So that's going to be, in fact, actually, sorry, you need to exit the sketch. Have we exited the sketch? Sorry, right, there we go. So rebuild. Uh, so sweep and then the swept profile is going to be this circle and the 
guide is going to be this sketch here. So we can select OK. And you can see that we've got our frame done. That just doesn't look right because we've only added the fillet to this bit here. So you can go into the sketch, ex um, edit the first 3D sketch, and we can add some more fillets. So we can add it to this point and at this point. And you can see that it will create the fillet along the direction of the sketch. So click OK, exit that, exit the sketch, and you can see how it rebuilds it. And it just looks a lot more, um, well, as a rough oven rack should be. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to extrude some of the supports. So we're going to select the front plane, click sketch, and we're going to look normal to that. And what we're going to do is we're going to hover over the origin and pull over to the right. And you can see that the origin of this circle is going to be uh, coincident to the origin. And we're only going to make that 4mm. It's slightly smaller, so it sits within the uh, sits within the 5mm frame. And we're going to dimension this at 11mm from the origin. So we're going to dimension it from the origin, dimension it from there. Now, this is still floating because it will be able to go around in a circle. So all you have to do is you can just drag it down a smidge if you want to, select the origin and then make it vertical, uh, sorry, make it horizontal and it will fully constrain it. Now when that is fully constrained, what we need to do is, yeah, when that's fully uh, constrained, we are going to go on the features, uh, extrude boss, and then in uh, direction one, we are going to click up to surface. And then in the end condition, we'll select this wire here. So let's see if that is working now. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an issue why it's not. All right, okay. I think the arrow was facing in the wrong direction. Okay, so what we do is we can either exit the sketch uh, and then it'll click on extruded boss, select that sketch we've just done. And then if you just zoom in, make sure that it is pointing uh, towards the back of the frame and we're gonna select on up to surface, click on that back uh, wire and we can see that it's going to basically extrude that wire until it interferes with that uh, outer bit of wire and then all we do is click OK and we've got the start of the rack so now we need to pattern it so what we're going to do is uh, you basically need to pattern it along an edge now because we don't have many edges so you could either show say this 3D sketch or what you can do is you can go on view display, uh, sorry, view, and then show. You can go on temporary axes here, and it basically gives you all the temporary axes within this model. So there's a lot of different points that you can um, drive this pattern along. So what we're gonna do is click on linear pattern, direction one, the pattern direction, we're gonna select this edge here, and then the features and faces, we are gonna click on um, this extrude. Uh, by default, it'll be one mil, maybe, maybe even 10 mil, depending on your settings. However, we need to set the spacing to 22 mil, click OK, and then we're going to increase the instances to six. Uh, as soon as we've done that, we're going to click OK, and we can see that we've got half of the rack done. So don't forget that we've done it at 22, which is double the 11 from the center here because we are mirroring it. So we're kind of putting some design intent into it. Uh, we've also got the temporary axes shown still, and it's added the new temporary axes within the 
uh, wires that we've patterned. So we've got that there. Now all we're going to do is mirror it. So it's really simple. So you're going to click on mirror. Uh, if you don't have that shown on the uh, at the top, you just go on insert features and then mirror, which is uh, where is it? Sorry, even it's second one down, which is mirror, and then it's just there. Uh, mirror plane. Uh, you select this edge here. Or you can select the plane because we've obviously done it around the right plane. So click on right plane, click on bodies to mirror and click on the whole item. And you can see that it mirrors it there. And then you can rotate it round. And that is how it would sit within the oven. Or that is how it would sit within the tray. Okay, so we've got some real nice, easy ways of modelling there. Uh, 3D Sketch is really powerful, so you can create all of this quite complex sweep really quickly. And because we've modelled it in half, you're only doing the one half and then modelling it round instead of having to draw all the four corners. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. hope it's a real nice basis of it. Don't forget that that is packaged within SolidWorks 2017. So if you do want to have a little go of it, either step-by-step -step ways there. If you've got any questions about how I've modelled it or why it uh, it should be done like that, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and we will see you soon.